this yeah, is bad will. and we need to expose this as young africans you know when you grow up when you have i don't power. want to see you like this yeah if, if you see how your country is this is because of corrupt people ruling the country so sad man africa need to be free african countries need to be free bro we cannot continue living our lives like this we hate each other we hate our own people look at how he treated a black man an african it's so sad a chinese man would never treat a fellow chinese man like that an american man would never treat a fellow american like that but africa would treat an african like something else he got the whole <laughs> so many people are telling me not to sing again but i love singing singing is one of my hobbies very soon i'll be attending ghana go talent and um i'm gonna shut the whole program down with my angelica voice i mean yeah. <laughs> it's the sister out of the 14 days quarantine and i'm back again with another video like i said i'm gonna be sharing my travel experiences here in africa both the good and the bad the scariest one and what else again i mean like the only problem that i have with traveling in africa is immigration i'm gonna say this over and over again because corruption in africa is way too much but anytime you talk about it people claim that you are disgracing their country my brother forget about the country that i'm from these things happen everywhere in africa and don't think that because i'm from ghana talking about what is happening in your country means that i hate your country no brother things like this also happen in my country but as young africans i keep on telling you guys that africa is the future and if africa is the future you and i are the future of africa so if we don't take measures if we don't talk about this we will also grow up and end up like these people these are the people who are preventing the growth of the continent if africa can eradicate corruption this continent will be the best continent in the entire world because after traveling to 17 african countries i want to tell you that africa is the place to be and being an african is a blessing like look around you tell me what your country have in the comment section all the natural resources but africa is still not moving forward because the people who are leading us are so corrupt it's based on my personal travel experience yours might be different like i said don't use that to judge the entire country gambia is a beautiful country beautiful beaches i mean nice people you can go there and have the time of your life when i went to gambia like i said it was one of the best decision ever taking that ferry and crossing that beautiful ocean and enter banjo the gambia if you are here for the first time and you are here to listen to my story do me a favor like that video subscribe and be part of this awesome family yeah the last video that i uploaded telling you guys what happened to us at the senegalese embassy in the gambia most gambians were saying that those people are from senegal those immigration officers are not gambians my brother what we went through in gambia oh my goodness gambia immigration is a disgrace to the world man like not to the world to the entire africa man especially immigration bother at bara if you give people like this position in the country when you're coming to the country first thing you're gonna you're gonna think that the whole country like these this. are how people are when you enter the country you know that everyone in the country is so friendly but immigration is disgracing the entire country i wish the president can shut that immigration border down it's so corrupt like we had like problems with that immigration border i think twice the first one was when we were about to enter the country and the second one was when we were going to where? The Kuntekinte Island. I mean, if I'm mentioning it right or wrong, please forgive me. When we were going to that island to film that video, what happened to us? We would have even given up on the mission, but we still have to what? 
go and film the video because like I said I got my mind made up and I won't turn back what really happened we took the ferry from Banjul to what Barra and then we were moving together all of a sudden we saw a slap you know you know slap coming some slaps can rotate from sky and end up in your ears so a slap on Evers, like boom oh my god Evers hold his head how can you meet your fellow african then you slap him in the back then slap him in the back and he said you want you want, you want you want you want id if you want a passport you have to use a slap to ask for a passport we all started talking about maybe he slapped Evers because Evers have a dreadlocks or something he slapped Evers. I mean, that was the scariest day of my life, you know. Somebody who works for you received that kind of slap. We thought, oh, it's over for Evers, man. Evers cannot make it. After slapping Evers, he used his whole hands, hooked Evers because Evers had his passport in his bag. But he started searching for the passport in his pocket and he couldn't find. This guy took Evers all the way to a smaller room and he told us nobody should enter this room. It's your country now. Yeah, this and is well, bullshit. I felt it, you know. You felt it. It's your country. It's, it's, a, your it's an assault, man. Like, you know, when you say something, people are like, they're disgracing my country, they're disgracing my country. This is an assault. This is the first time which is happening. And even the Ghana, the Ghana soldier over there was it's like, everything. this is what they do to Africans anytime they come in here. And this is a disgrace, man. You never do this to a white person. When you talk about this, they say, oh, you're disgracing our country, you're disgracing our country. He is the one disgracing your country, not me. Gambia immigration is a disgrace. And yeah, this is the first point where you enter into a new country. A new country. The first point. That you enter into Gambia and then you express that. Obviously, like, yeah, all, your all your perception about Gambia is going to be the same. The same, like you think that the entire Gambians are like that. Like that. It's a disgrace, man. This happened at Barra. Barra. Huh? I don't know what happened over there, but when Elvis came, I asked Elvis, what happened? He asked me for my, what do you call it? Passport. No, passport and another one. For clearance. Clearance. The class? Yeah. What, what is clearance? We've been here for two weeks. But the, the, the inside, he doesn't see the visa? He doesn't see the clearance? It is written there. It's written there? He saw this stamp and everything. I told him that here. He told me that because I'm from Kenya, Kenya has too many Ashabab. What? Kenya yeah. has too many Ashabab? Yeah. Problem. So it's a bad problem. problem, that's huh? why he called me. Kenya has Ashabab? That's why he would call me. Yeah, you, stayed, I, you stayed in the country for two weeks? Yeah. Saying that it is because of uh, his Ashabab. Ashabab will come to your country and take ferry? Are you mad? Except I don't understand certain things, man. And when you talk he about it, no, he didn't even know that the case from Kenya. He didn't even know. He didn't know. He, after you gave me your passport, that's why you, you come and know. give an excuse us. He didn't have any What is this? These are the kind of things that we go through filming all these positive videos that you guys have been saying. So when you see videos like that, don't think that we are disgracing your country. If you want to disgrace your country, first of all, we would never be in your country. I mean, we did an amazing job in Gambia despite whatever we went through i've seen so many people traveling to gambia because of our videos i've seen so many people meeting juliet in gambia because of the videos we did in gambia like we put gambia on the spotlight man man like please people in power man it's time we expose para immigration officers they're disgracing your country man share this video for me this is what am I? I came to your country just to let your country look good. Preach positivity about your country. You cannot say that I'm here to disgrace your country. I'm here to disgrace your country like I will upload a lot of shitty videos in here. But every single video that I uploaded in this country shows how beautiful your country is. But these people, man, I think I need to do a video about like what to expect. No, I'll do it. Because I cannot, I cannot be talking about things that doesn't even exist. I need to talk about the existence of things that are happening in Africa, man. This is sad. Who's coming here to express the same exact things? I know we are not the first people to experience this, and I know even Gambians themselves experience this. So if you are Gambian out there, 
Don't think that we want to disgrace your country. But these are the kind of things that we go through, brother. And uh, you just have to understand that these situations are things that is hindering Africa from developing. So as we, the youth of Africa, if we don't rise up and start talking about these issues, Africa will keep on sinking, sinking, and sinking. Stand up and stop being nationalist. Yeah, everyone is proud of their various country. I'm a proud Ghanaian. I know you're a proud Nigerian, a proud South African, whatever country that you're from. But when it comes to situation like this, you have to think about Africa first before your country. So boy, Mr. Ghana, baby, stay safe, wash your hands. It's self-quarantine. Don't go out there. I mean, I want to see you alive. You know, I want to see you watching my videos over and over again. I mean, you got the whole world in his hands. You got it.